Good afternoon. We will continue with uh, state true or false. First one. State true or false. Okay. First one. State true or false. Now here they are saying if log 10 is log 10 x is equal to a then they say log x is equal to a now tell me is it true statement when we write this as an exponential form it will be 10 raised to the power of a is equal to x this is not equal to 10 raised to the power of x is equal to a so it is false first one. second one If x raised to the power of y is equal to z, if x raised to the power of y is equal to z, then y is equal to log z. Now, here again, if you see here, if you write this as a exponential form z to the power of y will be equal to x okay but here we have x to the power of y is equal to z now these two are not equal so it is false then third one log 2 8 is 3 log 2 8 log 8 2 log 8 2 is equal to 1 by 3. Now let us see to this. A 2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Now here 8 raised to the power of 1 by 3 is equal to 2. Now see here cube root of 8. Now this will be cube root of 8. Now what will be cube root of 8? 2. 2 is equal to 2. Now see here, 2 cube is equal to 2 cube, 8 is 2 cube. So both the sides it is same. Therefore the statement is true. Okay. Now one more thing we, we should know when we interchange these two. When we interchange this base and this number and this, here this will become a reciprocal. That we will be teaching you in the next exercise. Find x. Find x. Log three x is equal to zero. Now see here we we have to write this in the exponential form. Three raised to the power of zero is equal to x. What is three raised to the power of anything raised to the power of zero will be one. So, 1 is equal to x. This is the answer. Log x2 is equal to is equal to minus 1. Now, here again, x to the power of minus 1 is equal to now this you can write it as 1 by x. Here negative power so this x will come to the denominator. Now this is 2. Now what will be x? x will go here. So x will be equal to 1 by 2. Log 
log 9 243 is equal to x. Now 9 to the power of x is equal to 243. Now 9 is 3 square. So 3 to the power of x is equal to 243 is 3 5 times. 243 is 243 is 81 into 3 so 9 into 9 into 3 so here 9 9 will become 3 into 3 3 into 3 so this 3 so totally 5 times 3 raised to the power of 5 now equate the power as the basis are saying 2x is equal to 5 so x will be equal to 5 by 2 which is 2 1 by 2 log 5 now this is for part log 5 x minus 7 is equal to 1 here again 5 to the power of 1 is equal to x minus 7 now 5 to the power of 1 will be 5 5 is equal to x minus 7 now bring the 7 to the side so this will become 5 plus 7 is equal to x. So 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 is equal to x. x is 12. Understood? So 5 to the power of 1 is equal to x minus 7. Now bring this minus 7 this side. 5 plus 7 is equal to x. 5 plus 7 is 12. Now this is 4, 1. Fifth one. <coughs> log 4 32 is equal to x minus x minus 4. So here x minus 4 will be the power of 4. 4 to the power of x minus 4 is equal to 32. Now 4 and 32 can be brought to the base 2. So 2 square x minus 4. See here I have taken 2 square x minus 4 and take it in the bracket. Now this is equal to 32 is 2 raised to the power of 5. Now see here both the side it is 2. So I can equate the power. 2 into x minus 4 is equal to 5. 2x minus 8 is equal to 5. 2x is equal to 5 plus 8. 2x is equal to 13. X is equal to 13 by 2. 6, 1 by 2. Once again we will check. 4 raised to the power of X minus 4 is equal to 32. 4 can be written as 2 square X minus 4 which is equal to 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power of 5. So equate 2 into X minus 4 is equal to 5. 2 into X, 2 into 4 is 8 is equal to 5. 2x is equal to 5. This minus 8 will come this side becomes plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. So x is equal to 13 by 2 which is 6, 1 by 2. Okay. 
the last one log 7 is 7 2 x square minus 1 is equal to 2. Now here 7 square is equal to 2 x square minus 1. What is 7 square? 49. Now this minus 1 you relate this side. So it will become 49 plus 1 is equal to 2 x square. 50 is equal to 2x square. Now what will happen to okay now what will happen to this fifty by two is equal to x square twenty five is equal to x square so x is equal to five the value of x is five Next is evaluate 70. So then I think uh, you must be finding it easy to do this. Since you have already learnt indices, many have done it well also in the test. So I hope this is easy. Evaluate log 10, 0. Actually, why don't you try the seventh one? It is easy. Okay. So, seventh one, you try it as a homework. You should equate it to x. Okay. As we did the fourth main, you have to do the seventh main. Seventh main, you do it as a homework. Try it at home. That's easy one. Please do it and post it to me. Okay, we will do, go to the eighth one. Anyhow, I am doing all the sums. Some similar sums you will find. If log m is equal to n express express a raised to the power of n minus 1 in terms of terms of A and M. Now see how I am going to do it. Here it is A. Now let me take this log A, M is equal to M. Write to the exponential form. So this power will come here. A raised to the power of n is equal to m. This is the exponential form. This is exponential form. Okay. Now look at this. A raised to the power of n is equal to m. Now we will take this. So this is the first one. Now second one we will take. A raised to the power of n minus 1. Now, in this we have to express uh, in terms of A and M. Now, see here, I can write this as, you know, A raised to the power of M by A raised to the power of M is equal to A raised to the power of M minus M. So, A raised to the vice versa, A raised to the power of M minus M can be written like this. So, here you have N minus 1. So, you can write it as A raised to the power of M by a raised to the power of 1. Okay? See, how m minus n can be written like this. Like that, this can be written like this. Now, a raised to the power of n is what? m. m. And a raised to the power of 1 is a. So, a raised to the power of n minus 1 is expressed in terms of m by a. Understood?
we'll go to the ninth one. Given log two x is equal to m. log 5 y is equal to m. Now they are asking us express express 2 raised to the power of m minus 3 in terms of x. As we did the previous sum, same like that only as we did the 8th one. Now what you will do is 9th uh, 9th may second subdivision second one you will work it out okay this i will show it now see here log 2x is equal to m now this i can write it as 2 raised to the power of m is equal to x in the exponential form this is the exponential form now log 5y is equal to m now this will be 5 raised to the power of m is equal to y. This is the exponential form. Now we need to take this. What is that? 2 raised to the power of m minus 3. As I said before, this is the quotient law. Okay. So this will be written as 2 raised to the power of m by 2 raised to the power of 3. This minus 3 will come down as plus 3. Now here, what is 2 raised to the power of m? x. 2 raised to the power of m is x. x by what is 2 cube? 8. So we have x plus it x. Okay. Now the second one you will do it. I am not going to do it. The second part you will use this and you will solve, you'll solve the second part. That is for you to finish. Now I will move on to the 10th one. Here it is, if log 2x is equal to a, and log 3y is equal to a, log 3y is also equal to a, both are a only now, yeah, then write 72 to the 2, to the power of a in terms of x and y. So 72 to the power of a in terms of x and y. This is again the same method. Log 2x is equal to a. So 2 to the power of a is equal to x. Exponential form. Log 3 to the power of a. Sorry y is equal to a, 3 to the power of a is equal to y. Okay. Now take 72. 72 to the power of a. Now 72 can be written as, okay, 36 into 2. Now 36 can be written as what? 6 into 6 into 2. 6 into 6 into 2. Again 6, 6 can be written as 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2. Okay. Now we will try to bring everything together. How many 2's you have? 1, 2, 3 2's. So this will be written as 2 cube 3 is square. Okay. 2 cube 3 square. This you can do even prime factorization method children. You can use prime factorization method and do this, no problem. Now this is raised to the power of a. Okay. Now I will take it out separately. Now, see here, power law. I am going to take 2 raised to the power of a. I have taken a inside, I am writing 3 outside. Into 3 raised to the power of a whole square. See here, I have taken a inside. This 3 I have written it out power law. 
3a and 2. So 2 to the power of a is x. 3 to the power of a is y. So x cube into y square. Now this will be x cube y square. So we have written in terms of x and y. We will go to the next sum. x minus 1 plus log x plus 1 is equal to log 2 1. Now here we can take it as log. See when it is a plus here, when you have log plus, you can take it as x minus 1 and x plus 1 is equal to log 1 will be 0. Okay. Or you can keep it as log 2 1. Okay. Now log log will get cancelled. x minus 1 and x plus 1 will be x square minus 1 square. This is equal to 1. Here x square is equal to 1 plus this Minus 1 square will go there. So it will be x is equal to, x square is equal to 2, x is equal to 2. See whenever you have a log plus log, then you have to take it together. There is a law for this. I will be explaining it to you in the next exercise. It will become a uh, multiplication. This we call it as a product law. Log plus of log plus will become a product x minus 1 into x plus 1. So this a minus b into a plus b will become a square minus b square. Now log, uh, both the side this log log will go, so 1 will be remaining. So x square is equal to 1 plus 1. x square is equal to 2, x is 2. square minus 21 is equal to 2 show that st is show that x is equal to plus or minus 11 ok here log 
x square minus 21. Now 2 will be log 100. Okay. So log log gets cancelled. x square minus 21 is equal to 100. x, is equal, x square is equal to 100 plus 21 which is x square is equal to 121. Now x will be root of 121. Now whenever we take a square root of a number, it will give us two values that is plus value and minus value. So root of 121 will be plus or minus 11. Hence root. So then with this I finish the first exercise. Tomorrow I will continue with the laws of logarithms and distributions. There I will be finishing A, B. Okay. So we have three more exercise to go with it. We will finish it. Please practice everything. Please complete your notes. That is very very important. Okay children.